let us now start with the diagram of the schedule which we studied in the previous module. This is the second part of the concept of determination of price under perfect competition. Start karte hai. We already studied this schedule. Now we have to draw the diagram by plotting these points on the graph. So to draw the diagram, there will be two axes, y axis and x axis. On y axis, I'll consider price. And on x axis, now students, there will be two factors. Which are those two factors? It is quantity demand and quantity supply. Let us start plotting this particular schedule in graph. Subse pehla demand se start karenge. So, your relationship is inverse. Price is falling, quantity demand bad raha hai. Start karte hai. The very first point which is when price is 5, demand is 100. So, as you can see, there is a red mark. Next one is when price is 4, demand is 200. Next is when price is 3, demand is 300. So we are plotting these points on the graph. Further, when price is 2, demand is 400. So accordingly, you have to mark the point students. And finally, when price is 1, demand is 500. So now if I connect all these points, I'll get a demand curve and this demand curve is downward sloping. Yad hai! Why it is downward sloping? Because the relationship between price and demand is inverse. Tike? Chalo. Let us now plot the points for supply curve. Start karte hai. When price is rupees 5, my quantity supplied is 500. You can see that point students. Further, when price is rupees 4, my supply is 400. Now, at rupees 3, supply is equal to demand. So, jaha par wo point tha, wahi pe wo mark hoga students. We have already plotted this point during demand curve. Okay, now when particular price is rupees 2, my quantity supplied is 200. And finally, when price is rupees 1, supply is 100 units. Okay, now we points connect karega. Konsa sloping? Is it downward? No, it will be upward sloping supply curve. Why? Because the relationship between price and quantity supplied is direct. So inverse, matlab downward sloping, direct relationship has to be upward sloping. Now both my demand and supply curve intersect each other when price is rupees 3 and quantity is 300 and the price at which both this demand and supply are equal is known as equilibrium price which is denoted by E. I hope ye diagram kaise bana wo achhi tarah se samjha hai. Aage badte hai. We have to conclude this diagram students. My point E is equilibrium point. Further OQ, O which is point of origin to Q is equilibrium quantity demanded and supplied. Whereas again from point of origin to P that is OP is nothing else but the equilibrium price. Come on students, so we have studied this particular diagram, both the cow intersect each other at point E. And if you remember, point E is my equilibrium point and at this point, the equilibrium price is rupees 3, where the quantity, demand and supply are equal and they both are equal at 300 units students. So here I conclude this particular diagram in the above diagram supply curve is upward sloping curve because you already know why it is upward sloping. It indicates direct relationship between price and quantity supplied. 
But when I talk about demand curve, it was downward sloping because it indicates the inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. So this was with the help of schedule, we constructed the diagram where they both the curves intersect each other that becomes the equilibrium point. I hope the concept of how price is determined in the perfect competitive market is clear. Now why that intersection point E is the only equilibrium point? Why is the equilibrium price equilibrium price? Why is the equilibrium equilibrium price? I will make you understand with the help of schedule and diagram in the very next module. Milte students.